Hello and welcome back to my boy's koi. So this is going to be a scrape video. Now for those who haven't got a microscope, you know, well some of you might know that I've done a video recently. I really um, feel that everyone should get a microscope. I, I seen someone the other day paid £18 for a microscope and found parasites. They do not have to be expensive, I think mine was about £60-ish. I think it was off Amazon, I've had it for a while now, so I can't even remember, but it, I know it wasn't expensive, I know it was around 60 quid. Um, I know someone else bought one the other day, 40 quid and stuff like that, so I, I know you can pay four, five, six, seven hundred pounds, but you can also buy a cheaper one. Um, might take that little bit more time to focus in and stuff, but they do work, so it doesn't have to be expensive. Right, so, to scrape a fish, you need to set up your microscope, so you need to plug it in, get your lights on, get your lens in. So now you, you normally come with different size lenses. The standard ones come with 10x and 25x, which is 100 times and 250 times zoom, I believe. So that looks into the 25 times looks into 250 zoom. Um, I'm not a microscope expert, that's what I believe it is. So you need two things. After you've set up your microscope and you've got your lights on and you've got your lens in, you need two things. You need a card. I use a screw fix card because it was brand new at the time. And I cleaned it, I disinfected it, and then I just leave it with me microscope stuff. Screw fix card is me scrape card. Then you need a slide, which is one of... I always keep them in like a bit of clean tissue as well when I get them out because I don't want to be putting my dirty hands all over them. So you get these little glass slides. Sorry, give me a second. Can you see that? Yeah? Just all see it. Get these little slides. I give it a good wipe down, make sure that my dirty hands haven't been on it, make sure they definitely don't touch the side of the screw fix card in my case. The side I'm going to touch the fish on, I don't touch that side at all. And then we ring up, all we have to do then is leave the slide and a bit of tissue on the side bring up a fish to the surface into a net and we very gently wipe the side oh in this case sorry give me a second let me try and show you this so we get this card and we literally go down the way the scales come on the fish and we just go nice and gently and we get up a bit of mucus on the end and with a bit of mucus we then again slide it across the little glass slide so we get the bit of mucus on this and we slide it across, across, across the glass and um, you get as long as you've got enough on there you'll know you've got enough on there because it's not a very it's not very big so it doesn't need loads but you want it you want a nice bit of uh, mucus on there which i'll show you in a minute and then we go and put it under the microscope so i'm going to bring a fish up now so i can get a little bit of footage but obviously i'm doing it one-handed so bear with me so i've just brought up um my achiever now this chief has got a scar on the side, it got sucked into a pump when it was little, obviously I got it from someone else, um, Danny's Koi channel. So she's got she's got a bit of a bit of a scar on one side. But what I'm gonna do is on this side here, there's a little red mark. Now it just looks like she's knocked a scale, but I'm gonna give it a scrape. More for you guys, but if there is anything on there then um then obviously I'll start out to see for that. But she's not she's not in great condition, but she's a lovely fish. She comes up, she lets you soak her and stuff. I really love this fish. But she's getting stressed out now, so what I'm gonna do is get my screw fix card. I'm gonna have to put you down for this raising monster, and I'm gonna have to because I need to get it out of the water. Just raise it up a little bit more. So she's got she's the side that I'm scraping is not in the water at all. Um so I'm going to have to do that and snap back to you, but I'm literally just going to get the card and I'm going to go down the side of it like this and get some mucus onto the blue line on my card and then I'm going to wipe it onto the glass. Right guys, so you might not be able to see that, but you can just, just about see that bit of mucus, a bit of water on that slide. You want a little bit of pond water because the pond water is where the actual parasites will be. They won't be in the mucus, they'll be in the, in the moisture around the mucus. Um, well, they might be in the mucus, but you see them in the water around the mucus. Um, so I'm going to take this inside now and stick it under the microscope, and I will snap back to you when I'm doing so. Right, so I've got my slide on here, got it on the metal clips. 
and then let me just show you the um, other hand I just start to turn the little knob on the side and now looks it looks like the moon but if we carry on turning we are using that right out so I just need to focus you up again and then slowly turn that back towards me to about there now I can instantly see them four black dots they could be Trichodenia Right, so we've definitely got Trichodenia which is that thing there, if it's not moving so it could indicate that it's dead hmm. The rocky looking stuff is skin, essentially it's, it's, it's the mucus, the skin coming off the scales oh. See that there? So I'm just still just messing with it, just bringing it into focus. I think that is dead Trichodina. So I'm gonna carry on having a look around and if they see it, if we see anything else I'll bring it back, but this is just this, this little dial on the side, just turn it left and right. And I'm zooming in and out. Um, I've also got and what I was saying about the the different ones, that's times ten that I'm looking at this one, the other one is times twenty-five. Right, so we've definitely got Trichodenia. And there's two of them and you can just see them turn round. Sorry, leaving camera. This is one of the ones why you might want to ditch it with one. Right, so I just had a look down the scope and I can see that they are exactly the same. It's sick. I've got sick in the pond. Um, that's all I've got in the pond by the looks of this, which is good. So it's not good, obviously, I've got a parasite, but I've only got one parasite, which makes life easier. So, um, yeah. So that's a scrape. Um, the one thing I didn't cover. Now you get slide covers, the little pieces are like thin plastic. You put it over. Now when you're using a microscope, you're meant to use these. I found them annoying, and I didn't find them to help, so I don't use them. But as you've just seen, I still find parasites. I still use a microscope. You know very well. I, can, I do it in in you know, quite quick. So, um, yeah, I don't personally use them, but as I always say, follow the packet, that's what you get with them. Why not try using them? You don't like them, try it without, see how you get on. But I'm going to go on a treatful trick. That's not a sight you want to be seeing down the end of a microscope. Um, That's a problem. So, as I said, after this we'll discuss through treating these. But yeah, that that's um, you don't want to be finding anything like that when you look down the scope. Um, it's not good. The worst I've ever had is when I found flukes, trichodina, chilodenella, and epistylis. I ended up ringing Dr. Paul Reynolds because on the internet it said epistylis was a was a, a bacterial problem. So I rang it and she said no, it's it's a waterborne parasite and it's in the water, not on the fish or necessarily. So it obviously finds the fish, but it's in the actual water body. Um, it just makes you think, what are you drinking? If that can just be living in the taps and whatever. But anyway. Um, she said that that's the only one not to worry about, deal with the others, and to be honest, I've only ever found it once and never found it again, so um, it obviously wasn't nothing to worry about, but I panicked when I read the internet, not always a great thing to do.
So guys, as much as obviously I'm not happy finding something, um, for the purpose of this video it was perfect really wasn't it, because you've actually got to see me find something on the slide, so um, hopefully that helps you, that helps you do it. Problem I've got now is I've got a bad infestation of Cicadenia, so I need to see that and I need to get on with doing it right now. Um, so I'll snap back to you in a second and I'll tell you what we're going to do. Hey right guys, so I'm just doing a filter uh, clean now. So before I do the treatment, I'm going to clean my filter, do around a 10% water change, and then I'm going to add in the treatment, which on this occasion is going to be what I've got, because I've got it. So you can PP bath for this as well, um, but I'm going to use Malachite Green, which at the bottom, see that's backwards, but um, it, it, an effective treatment against white spots, costia, chilodonella, and cicadina. Um, treats four times 22,000 litres, four times just under 5,000 gallons, four times, so 20,000 gallons. So this is 2,000 litres. This um, pool that they're in, I really need to get them a pond built, but they're in this for now. And so I'm going to have to break that mat down. Um, about 500 gallon, but I'm going to do it properly, I'm going to work it out properly and then I'm going to put the right amount, I'm going to follow the bottle, this is something a lot of YouTubers don't seem to do I don't think it's very good for, for the hobby, I don't think it's very good for anyone learning I'm going to follow the, the um, path, I'm going to scrape again in 7 days time and we'll see if the, the label works, we'll see if it's meant to, you've seen how many were on there, there's a lot of them so we'll see if it works, but I'm going to give it a good shake up I'm not going to spin your arm while I'm doing all this because I'm only changing some water and doing the e-spot clean sporting but I'll, uh, I'll finish the video shortly So uh, I'm going to wrap the video up here What I decided to do, it, it was 20 mil to treat 3,500 litres That's 2,000 when full, it'll be full soon I've put just over the halfway point between 10 and 15 mil so it's around 12 to 13 mil um, it's hard to get it, obviously perfect, but that's there, there about, that's the right amount that the bottle says for, for this literage. Um And I'm just going to see if it works, because as, no, as I say, there's nothing wrong with open doses, and I've said this before, when you're confident too, but I feel like I'm trying to put a point across that you should follow the packaging, because someone who's never used these um, treatments and then just goes, okay, I'm going to stick... Uh, twice, triple, quadruple the amount in. I think it's crazy. You don't know the effects. You've got to get you got to learn to get used to the effects of the treatments um, to know what to look for when the treatment doesn't work. Do you know what I mean? So anyway, water going in there now. Uh, where are we? Over here somewhere. <laughs> the water, the chlorinated water going in there now. Get that right up. About ten percent water drop. Um, in that time, I end up going down to the bottom and cleaning. Um, the filter on that, doing a little bit of a water change on that um, and I'm going to go and scrape them as well and see what's going on down there, see if there's anything um, but yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed the video, I hope you've learned a little bit from the video I, I know I couldn't show every point of the fish and stuff like that but if you have enjoyed it please like and subscribe it means a lot, I'll keep these videos coming, I really want to do one on potassium permanganate and show people um, what that's like and so i think that might be one of my next videos um when i need to do so obviously I'm not just going to do it for the sake of it so as i say i'm going to end it there appreciate it and please hit the like and subscribe take care bye